Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we're tackling a frustrating issue that can affect your workflow when the bottom half of your computer screen goes completely black. This is a common problem in Windows 11. But don't worry, we've got several fixes to help you get back on track. Before we dive into the solutions, let's quickly look at what could be causing this issue. The problem may stem from hardware issues with the display port or cable outdated graphic drivers, a refresh rate mismatch, or a broken or malfunctioning panel. Now, let's dive into several methods to fix it. First, check the display port and cable connections. Disconnect your Windows computer from the monitor and try plugging it into a different monitor. This will help you determine if the issue lies with the computer or the monitor. If the problem persists, Try using a different cable. Sometimes, a faulty cable can cause the bottom half of your screen to go black. Outdated or buggy graphic drivers can also be the cause. Here's how you can update or downgrade them. To update your graphic drivers, open the Start menu, then go to Settings, then to Windows Update, View Optional Updates. If you recently updated your drivers and this issue popped up, consider downgrading the drivers to a previous version. To do this, open the Start menu, type Device Manager, find your display adapter, right-click it, and choose Properties. From there, you can downgrade your drivers under the Drivers tab. Next up, let's talk refresh rates. Sometimes your PC and monitor are out of sync, causing display issues. To change the refresh rate, go to Settings, then System, then Display, then Advanced Display Settings, and choose a refresh rate that matches your system's capabilities. A common and stable refresh rate is 60 Hz. If your display drivers or other system files are corrupted, Running the system file checker can help. Open the start menu, type CMD, and run it as an administrator. Then type SFC as canal and press enter. Let it scan and repair any corrupted system files, which may take some time. Once it's finished, restart your PC. Finally, if none of these fixes work, it might be a hardware issue. In that case, it's best to get your monitor checked by a professional. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech fixes, and comment below with any other questions or issues you're facing. As always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.